All right, next spot, folks. I was here, I think, last fall. I didn't find much, but uh, I'm a sucker for punishment. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll find something today if we don't get rained out. She's a bit overcast, calling for showers sometime this afternoon. But anyways, we got some trucking to do, so we'll get at that, and I'll get you back up if I find anything. Well, I'm at one spot here, folks. Not my intended destination, but it's along the way. I just thought I'd kind of scrape around this hole. Show you what I got so far. Coca-Cola bottle. Nice green hue to it. Looks like it's a 1955. I think you can see that there. Got a cobalt blue. This green uh, liquor bottle come out. Like I say, this stuff looks like it's from the 50s. So nothing real exciting. Catch up. I'm gonna keep digging around. I'll get you up if I find anything else interesting. If not, I'm gonna move on. Okay, still digging around here, folks. Pulled out the old shovel. <laughs> but as you can see, this stuff isn't quite as old as uh, we're looking for. This is plastic here. I don't know if there's anything better, deeper or not, but I do see this here. Check it out. It's a Pepsi. I haven't rolled it over or anything yet. Maybe it's a double dot. Nope. Single dot. But uh, it's in pretty good condition. Just the same. We might keep that. There's some nice old soda bottles in here, so there's there's a old Coke and a Pepsi. And I'd say they're both from the 50s. Let me get the scraper. Let's see if there's anything else right there. there lots of glass in here. I could always buy some toys or something too. And any of those cobalt blues, look, there's a lid. Nice decorative lid. All in one piece. There's another Pepsi bottle's broke. See, that's a more modern one there. Well, even though it was just sort of like 50s and 60s stuff, folks, you never know what you kind of pull out. It's still fun to dig around in. I don't know what that is, 40 pops prize inside lollipops maybe milk bottle broken but this here just come out check this out stoneware horse head or um, donkey that's pretty neat I'm gonna keep that for sure Put that up there with these other ones I got a dish here okay that appears to be plastic and I thought I seen soda bottle in here. That's not it. That's a a uh, ketchup bottle right here. Oh no, it's broke. It's a Suncrest. All right, let's keep going. So there's that lid that came out earlier, folks. Check it out. And now, ta-da! <laughs> there's the base to it. Oh, full of mud. I think that's the base to it. Is it? Nope, maybe it's not. Oh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yeah, I'd say that's it right there. Oh, ah, yeah! Handles chipped off it right there, but pretty cool. Good little find. Check it out. We got lots of plastic here. And this uh, tall soda bottle just come out. First time I've actually dug one of those. Got a few of these in uh, a collection of bottles I got from the 70s digger. But uh, this is the first time I've dug one myself. 
seen better days actually the logo on it I might not keep that one geez folks that amber soda bottle just come out the ginger ale the ACL is all wore off it down there though but up there is pretty good first amber soda bottle I dug complete um, that mason lid come out it's got a nice aqua blue color to it this here just come out it's an old perfume with a swirl oh, the lid just crumpled in my hand it was a brass lid well I don't smell anything glove okay it's up there I didn't want to bury it I'll see if I can dig out anything else right here oh we're up oh, there's an old coke bottle broke all kinds of soda bottles in here I don't know what that is a piece of rubber or something a boot sold a boot Nylons. Not seeing anything else of interest right now at the moment. What's that? Oh, nothing. There's a wheel. See, I'm right at the foot of this embankment here, cliff, actually, right up against it here now. Check it out. I just got a toy. It's a little figurine. Plastic. Yes, sir. It's a hockey player. <laughs> Wonder if I can get any markings off him. Might be something on his back. Cool beans. Got an S on the front of him. I don't know what that means, but. Neato. Well, folks, I do prefer finding, uh, you know, 100-year-old bottles. But this stuff's fun to dig around in, too. Check it out. Here's a Jello and Hostess chip token. It's plastic. 200 points. I believe these came, uh, they're like an airplane propeller. I found one before and looked it up. It was a few years ago now, though. Can't remember all the details. This marble design little plastic spoon come out. It's got some fancy up around the top here if I get it cleaned off. Can't really get it cleaned off very well, but that's kind of neat. It's in good condition. Well, let's uh, scrape around maybe a little bit right here. See if anything else comes out. Graduate mid. Nothing. Exciting. Lots of bottle shards. There's, there's a bottle there. What the heck is that? Nothing uh, real interesting. A piece of plastic, something or other. Just need to dig up a jar of marbles. Get me on the board real quick. Lots of broken stuff down in here. Oh. Well, I'm not going to bore you with this. I'll get you back up. If I dig anything else up. Got an aluminum? Name tag, folks. William Bordeaux. Well, it just come out. That's kind of neat. Put that over here with my other finds. And a couple brass things there as well. Old lipstick container and a brass shaker top. There's a spoon there. Um, silver plated by the looks of it.
not begging to save in those unless they're silver and uh, I haven't found one yet that was uh, solid silver that is uh, uh, uh. Well, I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here, folks, but I got a couple more interesting finds. This one here, it's a plastic spoon, but it is a pharmacy spoon. Check it out, you can tell by the top of there. This is a Wasson's Pharmacy, and then it's got a phone number on it. Can't quite make what out the phone number is, but uh, it just looks like it's a 3-6525. Neat little measuring spoon from a pharmacy. And this here just come out. I don't think it's particularly old. Maybe from the 50s or 60s. It's got some plastic up around the top here, but it's kind of shaped like a like a cork top or a squeezer top. And uh, the lip of it, that is. And the rest of it's kind of shaped like a Christmas bulb. So that's kind of neat. I'll probably keep that neat little find. Any ideas what it might be? Anybody seen one of those before? Well, I've been digging around in what I think is a little older section here, folks. But I'm not finding anything here either. It's uh, already been hit before. There's stuff set all up on the bank. But I did dig up three cobalt blues there. I got a couple more in the bag. And uh, this cognac Monet bottle, it's a screw top. I'll just leave it here for somebody else. It looks like uh, people like to come here and dig, so I'll leave that there. Maybe somebody else will take it. Other than that, I might dig around a bit more, or I might get out of here. I don't know yet. See you on the next clip. Well, this shaker just come out, folks. And I don't, I'm not so sure that that's machine made. I'm thinking that might be blown. It's quite heavy. It may even have a bit of a pinky shoe to it. It's hard to tell here at the moment in this lighting and stuff, but it's quite decorative, real heavy. I think I'll hang on to it just in case. There is some uh, like 30s, well, maybe late 30s and 40s stuff here. Well, this might be earlier. Well, folks, I never did make it to my intended destination. But I think I got enough footage here to throw a vintage finds video together. I got some half decent finds, I guess. But anyways... I am whipped, and like I say, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to head through the woods to the vehicle out on the highway, and uh, we'll see you on the cleanup. Good day, folks. Welcome back to another historical video transmission. And in this video, we visited a 1950 site. I was actually on my way to another site, but I stopped along the way at this one and thought I'd scrape around a little bit and ended up spending the entire time at this one. Um, picked this up on the way home. Didn't actually find that at the dig site. Not that I'm drinking that tonight, folks. I am uh, drinking ginger ale tonight. That's right. Ginger ale. Keeping this one PG. <laughs> Okay, so getting right into the uh, finds here. We got a lovely uh, greenish colored Coca Cola bottle, and it's one of the taller ones. And the date is on the base of it, as you can see. Perhaps if we can get focused on it right there 55. We got a 1955 Coca Cola bottle, it's in pretty good condition, not much case wear on it at all, and I don't find uh, many coca-cola bottles actually so that was a nice find for me secondly we got a pepsi cola bottle 
And this one is just a single dot. Sometimes there's two dots down here, and the double dot one is a little bit rare. We've got embossing up around the shoulder. Pepsi Cola. I'm sure most of you folks are familiar with what this bottle looks like, but some people may not be that are watching. So there we go. It would be a real nice bottle if the ACL was in better condition, but uh, it's not really all that great. On the base, we have a date on this one as well. And it's 19. You can see that pretty clearly. And right after it is a 57. So we got a 1957 Pepsi Cola bottle and a 1955 Coca Cola bottle. So, like I say, pretty much puts a pretty good date on the uh, this patch of finds, which turns out basically to be mid 1950s, perhaps earlier as well. Next find, folks. I want to move through these fairly quickly. This donkey's head, which seems to be some sort of pottery. Not sure what the body would have been made of. His ears chipped up there. Some diggers won't show you the finds all cleaned up because uh, once they clean them up, they realize they're all chipped up and scratched up and full of sickness and so on and so forth. And they, of course, they don't want their viewers to see that. But that, <laughs> that donkey head reminds me of a joke. Some of you folks may have heard it before. I've told it before, but uh, for those that haven't, here we go. we got two guys in a bar, and one guy, every time he orders a drink, he says to the bartender, Hey, donkey boy, bring me another drink, please. And this goes on all evening, till finally, the second guy in the bar, he motions to the bartender. He says, Hey, come here. So the bartender comes over. He says, I noticed every time that guy talks to you, he calls you donkey boy. What's up with that? The bartender says, I don't know. He all, he all, he always calls me that. <laughs> ah, that cracks me up. Next up, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cobalt blues, which uh, basically is about $10. And what the heck was that? Look at that! That's a hair on my arm. Jeez, how long is that thing? That should be on my head, not on my arm. <laughs> Holy frig! What the heck? There it is. Wow. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> and we got this here. Little container dish here we got the lid and the uh, base and on the base it says made in Japan not sure how well we can see that made in Japan yep the handle was broke off I sanded it down so it's a little bit smoother I was gonna break this piece right off and sand it down flat probably look better but uh, that was a nice little find we got these uh, things here we got uh, an aqua colored mason jar lid. Uh, this little token. It's a hostess chips and a jello token. And it looks like an airplane propeller. On this side, there would have been an airplane, a uh, cardboard airplane glued to the that. And there was a bunch of different ones, and you could collect them all. I can't remember all the details on it. This here shaker top I thought was going to be silver, but it isn't. This here lipstick. Case is engraved there, and it's Beauty Counselor. Info online suggests 1950s. One site said 1955, which, I mean, that confirms the age, the date on the site, as I suspected, it's mid-1950s. God, this is going to be longer than I anticipated. And here's another one that dates the site. This is a little hockey player. This guy turns out to be a cereal prize from Kellogg Cereal. And he dates from 1956, 1957. Check it out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Little plastic uh, figurine. This thing here. Never did figure out what that is. I'm guessing it's 
the perfume, I don't know. Maybe somebody else knows. It's a Lambert thing here with the squeezer. It's in good condition. Squeezer still squeezes the dropper. Uh, we got some odds and ends up here. This is just a name tag. William Bredeau. If anybody knows of him locally and is watching, there you go. Cool little spoon. Don't know what this belonged to. It looked like a kid's play set. It might have been came in a plastic thing with some other things and you snap them out like you used to do. This spoon here is from a local drugstore. Not sure how well you can see that. It's Wasson. Wasson's Pharmacy, and it's got the phone number on there. So I'm guessing that's from the 1950s as well. Neat little spoon. And finally, folks, the last item is this shaker, which is manganese glass. Now, I was digging in a little bit older section at one point in the video. I scooted over and dug up a few things, a few cobalt blues, and this shaker. And it is heavy, and it is starting to turn purple. I only wish I had the lid to it. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for a lid that fits that. Beauty find right there. Beauty find. Early 1900s. Pre-1915 on that shaker. So that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. And my long hair on my arm. Check it out. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next one. Over and out, folks. Have a great weekend.